Hello citizens and welcome to this week in Star Citizen week 17. Once again there's been quite a lot of information especially in around verse and we still got the constant sale going on so without further ado let's get going. Monday Citizen of the Stars. In this week of Citizen of the Stars we get an interview with Tyrant. He is a founding member of the Competitive League which is a star citizen group where people can compete against each other. In Quantum Questions, they put Mark Abent on the stand. And here they talk about what he's currently doing to if you'll be able to fold your wings without landing. Tuesday, Subscriber Town Hall. This week we get Subscriber Town Hall, where they cover Banu and alien cultures. They cover questions like the Banu Defender's visibility, and the fact that the Banu and Vandal are trading with each other, and how this might affect player interaction. Wednesday, Bug Smashers. In this week of Bug Smashers, Mark Abent shows us a bug that makes your character float away from your ship. More exactly, when you start in Arena Commander, then it just starts floating away. Thursday, Around the Verse. This week, we get to visit the Frankfurt office and Brian Chambers. And I must say that the studio reports are getting longer, but they're also repeating stuff over the different teams for some reason. But without further ado, let's get going. And we're gonna start off with the VFX team, and they've been working side by side with the engineers to get moons to get their own personality. As a part of this, they show an early work in progress of gazers on the moon selling. The cinematic team has been working on chapters for Squadron 42, and priority right now is the giant Shubin Arsin facility. They're also doing edits for a big sequence for the middle of the story, and progressing for a major story event for the opening of the game. Environment Art Team have been working on Delmar, and they have evolved the Levski Landing Zone, and it now has garages for ground vehicles. And they've also worked a bit on the moons to make them feel a bit different from one another. The Level Design Team has finished the sign pass on the surface outposts, and sent it to the Art Team. However, they are going to continue work on the modularity part for the surface outpost for a bit longer. They've also started work on Levski to create an upper area via Aerolux and a future place to maybe play something called an air rail to outlaying landing areas. They've also added new approaches to Levski with roads and so on. The tech art team has been doing some R&D work on walking animations to make it look good for different weights and speeds. However, there's still some refining to do to get the different speeds to look right. The system design team has uh, progressed well with the actor status system, which now incorporates all things that can happen to the player, like breathing, getting injured, g-forces and so on. They've also added subsystems for suits, so if they get punctured, you're gonna be, have the ability to patch them and refill your oxygen. The usable system is also getting ready, and will let AI interact with pretty much everything in the world. If we go over to the social side and spectrum, is the spectrum design is getting finalized, and uh, this should hopefully let people get some of the functions in game. They've also continued working on the lighting, and as a step of this, they're going to implement the first phase of this to the outposts. And this is going to be like different modes of lighting. For example, there's going to be like low power, hazardous conditions, and normal conditions. The engineering team has worked on procedural planet tech, where they worked on making the transition and terrain blending better. Then last but not least, we have the focus of this week's of ATV, where they, they focus on the QA team. Here they talk about the different stages that is required to test a game, and how it's not just playing a game, but how they need to test and press every button just to try and break it. Friday, happy hour. During this week's happy hour we get a museum edition. Personally I'm not really a fan of this, but they were talking a bit somehow the origin brand was in earlier games. Schedule update. The 3.0 schedule was updated once again and uh, there's been quite a bit of a change on the schedule. Some things has been delayed and they've also uh, moved the category they had before with different parts that were finished. Now they've moved everything finished to their respective subcategory to more easily see where everything is and uh, how far it's done. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this week of Star Citizen uh, Weekly. And with that being said, there is a few things going on right now. For example, we got the concept sale for the Banu Defender and you can also pick up the Banu Merchantman. And that sale is going on until Monday on 
May the 1st, and there's also a QA out for the Defender. So once again, I want to thank Sig for putting all this together, and I hope you've enjoyed everything, and I'll see you in the verse, and leave you with this sneak peek. <laughs>